and yes, it will hold me. Another beautiful day in Corporal's neighborhood. It's that time again, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And once again, we're going to bust out a bucket list item. Let's get to it. All right, the beginning of this year, January 2022, I went ahead and did a do it yourself TP for 25 bucks. It was outstanding. But there was a couple of drawbacks and some things I wanted to change, and I promised you I'd revisit that. So, the things we've done this year, let's go ahead and incorporate some of that and build a teepee or an elevated teepee in the woods. It's a bit tall for my taste and for what I had in mind, but let's go ahead and test her out and actually see. And yes, it will hold me. Outside diameter, I want to be seven foot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's seven. All right, somebody's gonna say it, so I'll go ahead and address it. If it's too high, just lower it down. Well, the lower you go, the wider the actual diameter becomes, the outside diameter. I want no bigger than a seven foot diameter, and here's why. Diameter times pi equals my circumference, or the size of my tarp that I need to wrap that bad boy. To wrap it completely all the way around, we're looking at 21 feet. Seven times pi, which is 3.14 and change infinity, comes out to around 21 and change. Well, I don't want the entire thing covered. I want the front open so I can get in and out or create a door. So we're looking at an 18 to 20 foot tarp to wrap that bad boy using a seven foot 
diameter. The basic structure here is done. I'm happy with this. I added two more poles, this one here and that one right there. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and combine one of those meat smokers, a tripod over the fire, and a teepee and create an elevated platform or a bed right here. And I want to see if I can utilize one, two, three, four poles and make it happen. So let's get that done. Just like that, we have a raised bed inside of our teepee. Now I'm going to pause on this right here. I'll come back and add a few more poles to make it wider. But I want to go ahead and wrap this bad boy before it rains. Kind of cloudy up there, but who knows? Uh, Eastern woodlands, it can rain anytime. So we're going to wrap this, and I'm going to do it differently. It's about nine foot tall, eight and a half, nine foot. And I have one nine by 12, and then an eight by 10. So we're going to make it work. If you like what you see here, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop.
As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. So here we go, the Coney Island inspired chili dog. Yeah, I can taste the mustard and the onions in there. With the jalapeno sausage and cheese. Catch you all in a few. Oh yeah. coming along nicely. This Monday I'll be in Kentucky getting it finished. It's going to go from here up to here and then we'll start working in this and join all that together and then bounce over here and blah 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 blah. And someone's going to ask, well how many tattoos do you got? Um, I'm going to get so many to where I can't even tell you. Um, that's the goal right now. Um, just saying. Why? Because I can't. So yes, I know there was audio problems last week with the video, but guess what? It's already posted and there's nothing I can do about it. I used headphones, I went ahead and did my editing, everything was fine, and then I posted it and YouTube for some reason dialed down all the audio, meaning my voice. You could hear nature all day. Um, I talked to some friends of mine or some acquaintances on YouTube and they've been told, well, they told me that the same thing happened to them. YouTube's actually muted the entire video. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, it's another way of slowing things down. But guess what? There's about 1,800 comments on there telling me that audio sucked. So guess what? I know it sucked. So do yourself a favor and do me a favor. Look at the comments if you notice something. If somebody's mentioned it four or 500 times, another 1,000 isn't going to help any. The video is already posted. Change of plans, I installed that door because it's getting cold. Temperature's dropping pretty quick. It's supposed to be in the 30s tonight, so we'll get that thing enclosed and see how hot we actually get it. In the meantime, I'm going to lay here and enjoy my fire. Catch you all in the morning. I put that door on there because 
It's like in the mid 30s outside right now, but in here it's probably about 70 degrees. Um, so this hot 10 teepee worked out well. Yeah, happy with that. So happy, in fact, that I don't want to get up. Fine, I'll get up. And there you go, a first on my channel, Turkey Spam Scramble. Believe it or not, it actually tastes like turkey. But a hot dog tastes like a hot dog. And what is that? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. The infamous Death Wish copy. Ah. All right, let's talk about the shelter. We have a teepee hot tent in the woods. We use these poles right here. Um, let's see if I can count these real quick. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten poles. Three were our tripod. Did our tripod lash, opened her up, and then laid these verticals in there, or diagonals. Vertical diagonals, I guess. And then <clears throat> wrapped it with two tarps. Now, you can use one tarp. We're about eight foot, eight and a half feet tall before our lash, and we have about 18 inches above that. So it's hard to find an eight by 20. If you can find one, great. If not, do what I did, utilize two tarps. We went ahead and used, my measurements were wrong. I went and looked at it. It was a nine by 12 and then an eight by 10. So we have the blue one here, which is behind me. And that one is, I believe an eight by 10. And then we have this uh, brown one here on the inside, gray on the outside. And that one was the nine by 12. So it worked out perfectly last choice I was toying with, and I'm glad I did it, was utilize an emergency tarp for the door. Um, again, if you had one large tarp, it would encompass the entire thing. Then we use our One Tigress hot stove, which is what we're heating this tent up with right now, and vented it through the hole in the teepee. There's already a natural hole there. You just run the pipe straight up. And it's 75 degrees in here. I'm actually starting to get hot. And it's 35 outside, so it worked out well. And there you go, solo overnight building a do-it-yourself hot tent teepee in the woods. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in three places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, I'm going to catch you next time.
now it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. Let's take a few minutes here and talk about the golden rule. What is the golden rule? Well, in today's society, unfortunately, since the dawn of time, the golden rule is simply this. He who has the gold makes the rules. Now, let's think about that and break it down. When I hear that, I take it a step further. It's not only somebody making the rules for you to follow, and believe me, the older you do get, the more rules are going to try to get you to follow. And I hear that phrase, and it takes me to a different point. It takes me to a point of control, or you knowing your self-worth. Somebody else in a position of authority, with the power, with the money, has dictated what you're worth, either financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Um, the trick is knowing your self-worth, and then everything else should fall into place. It doesn't matter what somebody dictates to you. You're only worth $10 an hour. Well, I know the work I'm doing is worth 25 so I can go look for a job and move on. Or I'm in a relationship where I'm doing and giving 100% and the other person isn't, time to move on. So the question is, what is your self-worth? And is it time to move on? Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.